Hello fellow astrophotographers, today we will go through the process of firmware upgrade of your flap panel in order to support control from the ASIR with our uh, new cable. For the upgrade process you will need to use our control panel and Windows operating system. Before we start with the upgrade process we must connect our flap panel to power and to the computer with micro USB cable. Once you have connected the flap panel to your computer, open web browser, go to our web shop, open flat panels section and select any of the flap panels. In the product page, scroll down and open software documents section. Here you can download the latest control panel and firmware version. For the ASIR cable you need at least version 1.0.5 of control panel and firmware. We have also put the download links of the control panel and firmware in the description of this video. Once you have downloaded both, extract the control panel and start it up. First select the flap panel COM port. If you will try to connect the flap panel and you did not upgrade the firmware yet, you will get error warning, which will explain to you you have to upgrade the firmware version to at least version 1.0.5. We have already downloaded the 105 firmware version, so we simply click firmware upgrade, select 1.0.5 and upload it. Once the firmware upgrade is finished, you will also get a success message window if all went well. Now we can connect to our flap panel in control panel. Ok, flap panel is now ready to be used with ASIR, but if you wish to configure some of the advanced settings and behavior of the flap panel, continue watching to the end of this video. To access the advanced configuration of the ASIR control, click on the button in the upper right corner of our control panel. These are the default settings which were also used in the presentation of our solution in previous video. But you can customize these settings to some extent. For example, you can select brightness of the LED panel for the slider positions between 10% and 90%. Additionally, you can affect the opening and closing behavior of the flat panel. By default, the open position for imaging is used when the DC port of the control cable is set to off position. When it's set to on position, the flap panel will always be closed and at 5% it will also be off. Now if you wish for example to use shutdown ASIR mode in the plan mode of ASIR imaging, you can provide the power, the main power of the flat panel separately of the ASIR and check this checkbox. Now this will cause the flat panel to close and turn LED off when the main DC port of control cable is off and the imaging mode will be at the 5% setting when the DC port is on. So if I try to simplify, when you are using this feature in combination with ASIR shutdown in your plan, when it happens and DC ports uh, turn off, it will cause flap panel to close and LED light to turn off. But as I said before, in order to achieve this you have to provide main flap panel power separately of the ASIR. In this version of firmware, we have also changed the button behavior. 
Until now, the short press of the button opened and closed the flap panel. From now on, short press will turn the LED on and off and long press will open and close the panel. Additionally, we added the presets for the brightnesses, total of 7 presets. Short press will iterate through these brightnesses. If you want to achieve the behavior as before, simply set all presets except for the first one to zero and it will just turn on and off to the maximum brightness. This is also the default behavior. Now, if you wish to use presets and uh, select brightness with manual button when you're imaging in the dark side, for example, you can set a few presets, for example, low value for luminance filter, a bit higher value for color filters and even higher value for narrow band filters. Okay, uh, so we have upgraded our flat panel with the newest firmware, which enables us to control it directly from ASIR with our new cable. Um, I have already connected to the ASIR with my phone and have port control opened. I hope that's visible on the camera. Um, it's getting dark, so I want to open it up so it can cool down. So I simply put it into the imaging mode which opens it up and turns on the, the, sorry, turns off the LED. Now the optics can cool down and I can start imaging. And in the morning when I want to close it up or make flat frames, I simply put it into the desired position. For example, I have selected the 55% value, which causes it to close up and turn on the LED to the brightness which is preset at the 55% in our control panel like I've showed you before. Um, the default, by default the values are increasing uh, like the values of the slider, so for example 10% is less bright than 50%. Um, when I've chosen the correct value I can make flat frames and after that I can simply shut it off by turning off the ports like so and that's about it if you have any questions drop us a comment below stay tuned and clear skies